The woman I'm gonna talk about today was born... I don't know when and I don't know where. And as she will just do a short appearance in this video, no need to wait before I tell you that. Sophia Usher is the wife of George Usher, the inventor of soda water. We'll talk about her again, don't worry. Water is the only drink which is essential for our survival. The thing is that, even today, the safety of drinking water is not always guaranteed. So, for centuries, kids who stopped to drink milk started to drink light wine or beer to avoid any risk of sickness. In the 19th century, as the danger of alcohol is better known, a craze for spring water begins, especially for sparkling water, which is supposed to cure many diseases. But traveling to the water sources takes time and money, and put sparkling water in bottles is not easier. That's why several inventors, including George Usher, tried to solve the problem and find ways to put gas in still water. Their solutions use calcium carbonate or marble chips from funeral businesses. And I'm not kidding you. First sold in chemist shops, sparkling water is so popular that it becomes a daily life product. As the corks tend to pop, sparkling water is not sold in bottles, but thanks to little carts on the streets. And most of the time, drinks are cooled with ice. A kind of a luxury when the weather is hot. Don't forget that the fridge won't be invented before the end of the 19th century. Soda water is a hit, and it's flavored with vanilla, cherry, raw egg, celery or sarsaparilla. In the Soda War, George Husher wins a battle when he builds a cart made of wood and copper and provides free newspapers and books to his customers. His shop is opened on Sundays and, small revolution, women are allowed to buy his soda water. When George dies, Sophia Usher takes the helm of the business. In 1811, she sells sparkling water in the New York City Town Hall, and in 1819, she gets a patent for the technique created by her late husband. This technology uses cream of tartar to produce carbonic gas. In 1820, Sophia presents a petition and asks for permission to build a permanent shop on the street, but her request is rejected because the shop would take too much space. In 1892, the invention of the chrome cork by William Painter allows to bottle sparkling water, and the vendor carts quickly disappear. Today, almost 300 billion liters of soft sparkling beverages are drunk every year, which means that 10,000 bottles of soda are sold every second. But remember that for a good health, you should eat less sugar. You're sweet enough already. Alors pour votre santé, limitez les boissons sucrées.